it's not often that I go on to stream like this, but in this case, I had really had no choice. Um, everyone on here knows that I'm a huge Power Rangers fan. I grew up with the mighty Morphin Power Rangers and went off from there. Um, but what a lot of people don't understand, or at least know, that it has a bigger meaning in my life than what most would imagine. As a child of a single parent, I really only had TV and whatnot to go off of for uh, morals outside of my mother and grandparents. And Power Rangers, while being about teenagers in costumes with uh, giant robots coming up against monsters. There was a lot of heart into it that I feel resonates with me to this day. And while Jason David Frank's uh, Tommy Oliver wasn't my favorite ranger, to deny that he had a massive impact not only in Power Rangers lore and Power Rangers in general, but also in pop culture. Um, it, it, the show and what he brought to it also helped shape what uh, some perspectives of mine that I changed, like some, like evil, you aren't always an evil person, or you may start bad, but you grow into something better over time. And I feel that it was, uh, it was something. And when and this morning when I heard of, first heard about it, I was skeptic because there was no official confirmation and all that. But as soon as it uh, became official, sank in, and it just kind of left me just why and the reason and whatnot. And it just kind of reminded me how uh, precious life is in this world, and as bad as it is now. There's always a light at the end of the tunnel, and there's always a light within to shine along the way. Uh, I had the honor of actually meeting uh, Jason David Frank a couple years ago, and I got him to sign this. And I had a picture with him, too. And that was a really, it was a really nice experience. And also for this year, they released a Green Ranger a Christmas ornament. And I got it because, well, Power Rangers. And now those have a lot more of new meaning to me. And I, and with the quote that showed up for this, I picked it because I feel this was something that I just needed to do for not only the stream, but for myself as well. Jason David Frank, you will be missed by millions of people that grew up with your character and grew up with you. Once a ranger, always a, a ranger. And may, and may the power protect you. Yeah, I don't open up like that. Good evening, everyone, and welcome to another nerdy episode of another nerdy talk show where we talk nerd. Um, big thanks to Jablonski doing that opening for us. Um, tonight we have uh, Carrie Means joining us to, and about after the first hour of the show, he's going to be coming in at 9 to talk about his recent appearance in the Aqua Teen Hunger Force uh, Plantasm movie, as well as some of his other stuff he's been he's been doing since he was on our show last in uh 2020 and yeah we'll be um having him on until then we got trailers for wait for it wait for it bop, 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 bop. i think i'm stuck okay where the where the heck is that friggin <laughs> where is it bam damn it bam bam that was a mess up. I'm sorry. We got trailers for Snow Day, Sonic Prime, and Pixar's Elements. 
Speaking of Jablonski, he's also got the 411 on this year's Macy's Parade. And some thoughts on that on that new Pokemon game that came out. All that and Carrie Means tonight on another nerdy episode of another nerdy talk show. Cue the opening! <laughs> interview tonight. All our usual show segments will not be presented this evening, and we will also not be taking viewer call-ins. We will resume our regular show format next week. Thank you and enjoy the garbage, I mean so. Good evening, everyone, and welcome to another nerdy episode of another nerdy talk show where we talk nerd. I'm your host, Evan. And that's ja blah blah blah. Ja blah. Blah 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 blah. He's the ja blue. Yep. Ja blue. Ja bluey. Ja bluey. He goes explodies. <laughs> it goes ja bluey. Just wait till you see our new opening next week. I turn him into an elf. Oh, yeah. You want to see Jablonski as an elf coming next year? Week. Excuse me. Fuck. Anyway, Emma. <laughs> Welcome to Emma. another nerdy episode of another I'm talk scared. Show, buddy. Buddy, once again, Carrie Means will be joining us in about an hour. Um, we hope we're looking forward to that. Kuma will be a little bit late, and Cruiser is always Cruiser. So yeah, we'll be um having a good time. We're gonna be looking forward to it, and um yeah. Oh shit. We get to have some quality time. Yep, quality time with me and my dad. I mean, we I mean. Cru- Frick! <laughs> Don't give me the eyebrows, dude. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Know what I mean? Know what I mean? <laughs> no, explain to the viewer. <laughs> I'm waiting. Sir, this is a PG-13 show. If you didn't get it, you're not going to get it. Fine, I'll save it for hentai night. Anyway, I'm, uh... uh before I begin, I want to show you my cool new hat. Take a look at this. I was at I was working the Monsters Inc. ride, right? And um, I saw yeah. a guest wearing this, and I approached him saying, so where did you get the hat from? Really, I care. He's like, oh, they're selling it at Star Traders, like right behind the Merchant of Venus. And I'm like, cool, I'm just asking for a friend. And then I left it immediately, went to the Star Traders, and bought this thing. The thing that's cool about this hat is that, um, first of all, as you guys may or may not know, I'm a huge Tron fan. And check this out. If I hit, if I hit this button here, or wherever it is, it's a little hard to locate on this thing, but yeah. I can blink, I can make it blink slower, or I can make it be solid. What do you think? I think it matches my lounge fly. No comment? It looks oh. nice. Okay, there it is. It's pretty good. I don't know how I'm going to wash it, but maybe I might not. Underneath, in the back, it says 40th anniversary. In the back. Oh, cool. Yep, I got to get the jacket now. I, it matches my lounge fly, which also glows in the dark. Yeah, trust me, guys. I'm a Tron fanatic. I'm gotta have Bruce Box Lightner's autograph somewhere in my on my wall one day. Day, play for the users. Bah. So, we have a couple of trailers this week. Let's talk about the first one. The first one for. Sonic Prime. The world he knows Ooh. is about to shatter. I think that was the plot for one of already. That was already the plot for one of the Sonic series, I believe. I'm not too sure. Underground. Underground. Yeah. The, the show or the. The show. Oh, I thought there was a movie. There was a game. Not a movie. Wasn't Sonic Underground really bad? I haven't seen it in a long time, so I can't say for certain. But I got a lot of vi- I got a lot of vibes of that from uh, from this trailer. <laughs> How so? Explain. Let's see. Uh, world is ruled over, ruled over by uh, Eggman or Eggmen. Mm-hmm. 
lot of the characters in it are cyborgs. That was in Sonic Underground with the band and everything? Yeah. I don't remember that part. I haven't seen it, though. Um, rebellion group. Either take apart or led by Sonic. Go on. That's really all I can get from from the trailer. So yeah, the Sonic Prime Prime's plot. So what we're gathering on this plot, Sonic and his friends are in this parallel dimension where Eggman rules. Sonic seems to travel between worlds that tails coins as shatter dimensions. There's like a robot world, a pirate world, an indigenous world, and Shadow is there for some reason. Yeah. It's interesting to say that. I mean, like, I don't hate it. It's just weird that's my thing like i'm not that big into the sonic series i mean yeah i like to watch adventures of sonic the hedgehog i don't care how bad that was thank you youtube poops something i'll probably out. check out what it's something i'll probably check out so adventures of sonic the hedgehog go definitely check it out for the memes well not only that one no if you want one for the memes you check out sonic boom very, very um, debatable on that one. No, it's actually pretty good. Oh yeah, I've heard it's good. But no, so um, the animation in this looks looks stellar. It looks like something that was taken like like at one of those high quality oh, yeah. game cutscenes. I mean, even this poster. Let me bring up that poster again here. Look at how at the cl how clean that looks. Look, I don't even know how much you could describe the plot. Like, friggin', it's Eggman. He's being a dick, and Sonic has to stop him again. I always wondered, I always wondered, how does Dr. Eggman afford all this shit? Answer that question. I can't remember. I think there, I think there is a reason, but I can't remember it I for the life of me up. right now. How does Dr. Eggman afford... All this. Robotropolis, the wealth of the infamous te technocrat. That's a word. Yeah. Oh, I know what we're going to be talking about next word of the week. Dr. Ivan Man right? Robotnik has been bought under scrutiny following the newly surfaced reports that a majority of his wealth originated from his family's chaos emerald mine in South Africa. So you can easily just... I don't know if friggin'... Elon Musk is Eggman. What? Elon Musk is Eggman. <laughs> That's a good way to put it. Uh, Eggman Musk. Egg Musk. Ew. Eglon Musk. Elon Man. Eglon Mansk. George. Do you know what Eggman's name in the Sonic comics is? Julian. Because he likes to move it, move it. He likes to move it, move it. God damn, the Sonic comic was amazing. I can't get over I it. It is. the end of it. But, um, yeah, the, um, the animation looks good. I might check it out. Cruiser said he needs to kind of get used to Sonic's new voice actor, but, you know, it's good stuff. It's interesting stuff here. It is. Next up, we got a trailer for a new Pixar movie that will be Elements. It's not really the poster. This is more of a screenshot. Um, I honestly don't know what to make of this. A lot of people don't. Um, Same. Like, the designs of the characters are cool. We got, like, a robe that looks more like something like... It basically shows a girl that's made completely of fire, which is this girl right here that I showed you earlier. And she's walking yeah. through a train that's filled with other colorful with different characters that are made of the the elements of the earth you know water wind water i'm sorry water earth water damn fuck water wind fire earth right earth thank you anyway anyway yeah that's kind of not off the bat because she touches hands with a guy made of water so i'm looking i'm assuming this is some sort of romantic comedy from what I heard from the tra from not really the trailer, but when they announced it, yeah, it sounded like it was going to be the case. Yeah, like I'm looking up here. Let me see if it was updated. First of all, it's not called Elements. It's called Elemental. Please excuse me. 
like I'm looking it up on the Pixar on the Pixar wiki. Let me see if it has something here. Oh, there actually is a poster now. The plot? There is nothing listed. That looks they cute. gave like a brief synopsis at some point. My guess is well, like I said, one of the best things to um uh, look at Pixar is you have to find a plot is the first thing that they come up they decide what what make when they come up with a movie is what the lesson they're going to teach is. So I'm expecting like maybe an inclusive story or something like that or whatever. Being more inclusive or something like that. I'm I could be wrong, but like I'm just making assumptions. I hope it is because that would piss everybody off. So yeah, hmm. that would be the best part of the movie. I want to see a movie. Now, the newest thing to piss everyone off is uh, Strange World. So. Oh uh, yeah, because one character is gay, or something. Yeah. What's the thing with gay characters? Like, honestly, it's kind of interesting. When you look at, like, char characters that are like that, it's kind of hard to, like, integrate them or have proper representation. I honestly feel like it's still something that's being melted into common media these days and people are still getting used to it. Yeah. Or something of like that matter. I could be wrong. I'm not really speaking. I'm speaking as a complete and total idiot. But, you know, it's it's whatever they want to do. I don't really know. Strange Worlds didn't really grab my interest too much, aside from some of the designs in it, namely because, um, I don't know, you got a movie, it's called Strange Worlds. It's like, how much of a more generic title can you get through that? It's like calling this person, like, friggin' human race. It's like, what? What to say it's actually, uh, like, a kid-friendly version of a H.P. Lovecraft story? <laughs> what? Hold on. Let the record show he's a Satanist. If you are, I'm really apologize. Are you a Satanist? I don't know. His lack of response kind of intrigues me even more. <laughs> Earth to Jablonski. I'm working on it. Oh, what are you working on? Trying to trying to find the uh... So, a lot of people are saying are more comparing it to Jules Verne. Jules Verne. That's not. That's not. That's the exact opposite of Lovecraft. I know. I, I thought. I thought it was. I heard it was. There's some inspiration from uh, H.P. Lovecraft, but interesting stuff. But no, let's talk about this other thing here that's kind of got got both of our attention. Okay. Let's talk. Let's talk about this. Okay. Snow Day. This is the poster for the remake of Snow Day. Except I'm not going to use the new poster for the remake of Snow Day. I'm going to use the old one. Because the old one is much more confusing. Look at this. Like, wh what is going on in this poster right now? Like, what is this guy doing on the snow? Is he, like, trying to do the John Lennon legs meme? What the fuck? He looks like he's about to take a piss on friggin' Davy Crockett and what the fuck over there. I'm telling you, next time I scratch my ass, I'm going to do that. Just like, yeah! <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, I'm scratching my ass! <laughs> so, I got several questions here. Why is this happening? Why is this happening? Why is this happening? That's all I wrote from my script for this for response to this, tra to this trailer. Uh, I, I can sum it up in three words. I, money. Because fuck you. It's one thing to do a remake for money, right? It's one thing to do a remake for money, but like... um Yeah. Remakes is their cash cows. I get it. I can understand it. But Snow Day? Really? Yep. 
to be fair, it is going straight to streaming. So the confidence in this one is already low. So this is coming from the guy who hasn't even seen the Blue's Clues uh, movie yet. So Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah, it's like, I still have to see it. I heard it's okay. But, like, really, Snow Day? It's not even that good a movie. I only like it for its novelty. I remember seeing that shit in theaters. Yeah, I do, too. But, like, one of the things that's, like, just, just confusing me even more is the fact that just, like, who was the guy who played Snowplow Man in the, um, in the movie? Was it uh, let me look that up. I didn't look that I up. I think it was Billy Bob Thornton. I could be wrong. But, yeah, Chevy Chase is in that movie. Also, does anybody else no, remember when... more. What? <laughs> no, not anymore. Not in this one. Which one? What? What's, what's not in this New one? New one. What about it? Uh, Chevy Chase isn't in this one. Oh, yeah, he's definitely not. He is definitely not going to be in that movie. They still air this shit on HBO. What the fuck? What? Snow Day? Yeah. Oh, dude, you and me got to get together and watch Snow Day one day. Let's go there and have a ball, get drunk, and watch Snow Day. It's all uh, right. yeah, Chris Elliott is uh, Snowplow Man. Chris original. Elliott? Original. Really? <laughs> Yes. <laughs> Motherfucking. Oh my god. I mean, casting for some of this is actually kind of insane. I know, friggin'. Oh my god. The guy from Schlitz Creek, really? They got, uh, let's see, Iggy Pop played someone in this movie. What? Yeah. No, that is not. Hold on a second. Snow Day. I think I'm gonna have to go to the main screen for this, for this one. For this one, hold on here. Wait. John a Snyder is in it. John Snyder, Snow Day. Yeah. Twenty two thousand. Let me see. Ah, uh, pre nine eleven movie. Chris Elliott, Chevy Chase, Mark Webber, Gene Smart, Josh Peck, Emmanuel. Oh, Claire. I don't know who that is. Claire Bo Boner. Claire Boner. What the fuck? Who else is? Let me see here. Josh Peck, Marilyn, uh, Zena Gray. Iggy Pop is really in this. I told you, you didn't believe me. My God, who else is in this? I don't know who any of these other guys are. This is just... This is just... <laughs> I always like Josh Peck's smile. He's always weird. <laughs> uh Josh. But no, you were saying if Josh Peck doesn't have a friggin' cameo in this, it's going to be kind of bad news, right? Yeah, because... Uh, okay, so with, when it comes to doing these remakes, yeah. now, personally, I like there to be at least some kind of cameo. <laughs> I like... Um, they did it with a lot... I'm sorry, I need to share this on screen. I was looking up Snow Day 2022 cast, and one of the first results I got here was those like pre-made people ask things and the first one i got was who was the hot girl in snow day let me see emmanuel shakiri shriki is claire boner what the fuck i don't friggin know who that is so whatever anyway i'm uh yeah like this is just this is just ridiculous. I think it's just a silly movie idea, and why the heck they're doing it is just. Uh, let's see. But no, yeah, they got it... Rob uh, Hugh. They got Rob Hugh Bell to replace uh, che Chevy Chase. Oh my god! Didn't you say also this is a musical? Yeah, it is. Dude, if they don't include the song "Another Dumb Blonde," I'm going to be very upset. Yeah. I think it's time that you found another dumb blonde snotter, snotter. What are you get for Snowplow Man in this one? Oh, Jerry uh, Trainer. No, okay, he's I can not. actually get behind that one. No, he's yeah, not. Yeah, Jerry Trainor is, uh, no, is Snowplow Man. No, he is not. 
No, he is not. No, he is not. Yes, he is. No, he is not. (laughs) No, he is not. Wait, what was he drinking, Josh? (laughs) He was the crazy guy from fucking... The craziest team! (laughs) Friggin... Yeah, it's Spencer. Okay, I'm in love with this right now. Spencer from... From friggin... He is I'm not, in love with this casting right now. He is not Snowplow Man. Oh my yes, god. Yes, he is. Yeah. I fucking love it. <laughs> At one point, I thought in the fucking outtakes, I would love to see this. If he just went off and just did a crazy Steve moment in the movie. <laughs> I think it's a crazy Steve moment that he's in the movie. Fucking Dudley Puppy is, gonna, is freaking Snowplow Man, dude. It's killing me. It's killing me. <laughs> oh, God. Go, do, do, do. The cow, cow says, says boo. <laughs> <laughs> oh, his acting. It, it, shit, the rest of his just the rest of his uh, filmography is actually pretty good. See, like in the one of the, I like to when you see actors and they appear in like one of those movie titles that's like really like well not too known. Like for example, like you see him in a movie movie that's called like like i don't know the cigarette lighter or something like that it's just like a gangster movie and he plays like a victim he, he has stuck okay so he has stuck with nickelodeon a lot oh yeah if you stick with one company um, doing that. yeah because it he fucking work he wasn't um he wasn't donnie darko yeah he was holy shit oh uh, he was in stars he was in star versus the forces of evil he was an ER? He went to the mouse for a little bit. My wife and kids, he was a Star Trek fan? Dude, how old is this dude? 45, man, what the frick? Yeah. Dude, he looks like Ego Raptor. He was in Malcolm, he was in an episode of Malcolm in the Middle. Shit. And, uh... But yeah, I'm looking forward to this. Oh yeah, this is gonna Shit. be a good one. There, seeing friggin' Snowplow Man played by Jerry Trainer's got to be the biggest highlight. Definitely. So, with that out of the way, let's go on to the next topic here. You had a little bit to discuss about the um, about the uh, the Macy's Parade. Oh uh, yes. Um... And with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, I'm has going, come to I'm going to be giving you the center floor of the host cam, cam just so you awesome. can just. We got to find the right one there. Hold on, let me just give you the host cam ready to go, and there you go as you go live and talk about your Macy's Day Parade, which I'm going to miss. I miss it. Okay. Well, I kind of am too because I work on Thanksgiving. But mm-hmm. anyway, um, me too. Ladies and gentlemen, it's that time of year again where turkeys are being cooked, uh, stuffing is being had, people are taking a fuckload of naps, and breaking in the uh, the end, the uh, official beginning of the Christmas shopping season has begun. Retailers be damned. This is usually singled off by the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. And this year, we actually have some new stuff. And we got like four new floats. Oh, just in time. Ha 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 ha. Um, Cruiser, um, um, uh, Carrie's, I told them that, that you meet him when the chance gets that. Hold on a second. Okay, well, so you want me to go walk. over there too? Not uh, yet, not yet. Just go there on like four... About like eight forty-five, but yeah, hold on a second, Jablonski, restart your camera. Jablonski, restart your camera. Jablonski. All right, can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, but I can't see you. You need to restart your camera. Oh, can you restart? It? All right. Okay, so does our guest know that I'll be there in fifteen I'm minutes? Yeah, I told you to... he'll be there in fifteen minutes. Just keep communicating with him. Okay, you're not showing up on the on the feed for some reason now. Sorry, this is a little bit of a power, a little bit of a glitch, people. Sorry about that. 
a little bit of some hectic stuff there. Uh, two of them are uh, redesigns, yeah. and two are brand new. Okay, explain to them as you as you continue to be two dots First on the screen. First one, um, so two dots on the screen. Yeah. You guys at least still hear me? Yes. yes. Okay, um, so I'll just continue. Oh, there you go. You're back, you're back, you're back. All right. Okay, so first new balloon, like brand spanking new balloon, is Bluey. Ooh, Bluey? Yeah. Oh, coconuts have water in them. That's just... my favorite one. Unicorns, what, are, what do you eat? What do you eat? Children. I still need <laughs> to see that show. I heard it's really good. It, it's actually legitimately good. It's not a kid show. It's a family show. Oh, so. yeah, definitely. That's like some My Little Pony shit there. Yeah. Okay. The other new, the other uh, brand new balloon is Stuart the Minion. Who? Stuart the Minion. Who the fuck yeah. is that? Dude, you know what a minion is. There's a minion name. They're giving the minions names now. Jesus Christ. They've what? had names. Go on. Go yeah, they've on. always had names. Um, go on. I don't really care. But, any, but anyways, um, the one thing I do like about this balloon is that. It's holding a guy in a banana suit. <laughs> oh my god. What are those little dicks? Yeah. Those Simpson penises. They don't look like penises. <laughs> I never got that joke. Like, they don't look like penises. I don't know what penises you guys are looking at, but why not? <laughs> okay, so the one of the re the, the first redesign is uh, Diary of a Wimpy Kid. Okay, that's that. I have to see that still. I heard it. The uh, remix, whatever. This this redesign is uh, instead of it's all color. It's all color now, not black and white as it was before. And along with that one is uh, the cheese, the uh, cheese touch. The what? Yeah, that piece of oh, cheese. Oh, the, the, the that piece the of cheese. cheese. They touch the cheese. Yeah. Yeah, man. So there, that's the first redesign. The uh, second redesign is uh, Sinclair's Dino. Really, the only difference is that there's a baby dino on its back. Oh, cute. Well, on its neck. Those are two different things, but okay. Yeah, I know. Uh, I'm just going to run down the regular lineup. Come on, you can't think. <laughs> okay. Um, other than those four new ones... Uh, the Acorn from Ice Age, Ada Twist, the Scientist, uh, Astronaut Snoopy, the uh, Blue and White Macy Stars, uh, Candy Cane, uh, Candy Cane, Goku, Grogu, Harold the Fireman, uh, the opening star, the Macy's opening stars, uh, Paw Patrol, uh, Pikachu and Eevee, Pillsbury Doughboy. Uh, the poinsettia ornament. Cute. Uh, pump the uh, Macy's pumpkins. Friggin' uh, red Titan from Ryan's World. I don't know why that is still there. What? Uh, Ryan McDon uh, Ronald McDonald. Will he have an ass? Don't know. I hope uh, he has an Smokey ass the Bear. Smokey the Bear, man, that's a good. That's an open one. Uh, the snow crystal ornaments. Uh. SpongeBob and Gary, Boss Baby, Papa Smurf, Tiptoe, the uh, the reindeer mascot they announced last I was year. Say, who the they did fuck last is year, and uh, Tony the Band Leader Bear. Okay, uh, what performer are who's Balloonicals? And, Wait, go on. Uh, I'll get. To, I'm getting to that. Oh, I thought you were doing the balloons. Um, yeah, I, I'm doing the balloonicals now. That, this list is short as fuck. There's only one new one, uh, Striker, the U.S. soccer star, because of uh, the world, the uh, FIFA World Cup. And this one is uh, for Fox Sports. Along with that are Baby Dinos, the Bulldog, the Go Bowling, Mouse King, Nutcracker, and Tough Guy. That's what we all, we, we used to call no. the concert oh. cruiser, the Tough Guy. Now, there are five new floats this year. Mm -hmm. First one is uh, Toys R Us. 
<laughs> Shocking only because they're in Macy's. Wink, wink. We know where that funding came from. We do. The president of the United States of Toyland. <laughs> uh, Macy's uh, people, people of first light. Baby Shark. <laughs> what? Of course. <laughs> Baby Shark's going to show up there. Yeah. Get freaking Gabriel Iglesias. Uh, God damn it. I cannot look at that, so that song the same way ever again. Oh, my God. <laughs> um, Netflix. Netflix is going to have a musical appearance there. No, uh, Netflix is actually, for their, for their flow, is uh, Slumberland. From Little Nemo, which I still need to see. Oh, um, it's the one with uh, Jason Momoa. Oh yeah, that movie. Yeah, I still have to see that. Or is it a series? I can't remember. I think it's a movie. Um, Wonder Bread. Of course, I I cannot wait to see what that one is and what jokes can be made. Yeah. In it. So and the new and the uh, those are just the new ones. The the ones that are recurring uh, Sesame Street. Um, where's this one? Uh, Spirit of America. Uh, McDonald's. Jenny O. Peacock, because of course NBC. Uh, Blues Clues. Uh, Celebration Gator, which is uh, Louisiana. Uh, Lifetime. Like Lifetime Network? What the f uh, Yeah. Uh, Kalahari Resorts. I love Calamari. Uh, Balsam Hill. Okay. Uh, uh, Luma, Luma Stella Company, which does Elf on the Shelf. Okay. Uh, Entomans. Okay. Uh, Kinder. Uh, Green Giant. Ho, ho, ho. Hallmark. Okay. Olay. Olay. Uh, the Macy the Macy singing Christmas tree. The what? The Macy singing Christmas tree. They're uh, they're choir of uh, workers. Their company choir to perform on it. Bring back the guys. Uh, Disney Cruise Line. Yeah we, yeah, we got Disney Cruise Line. Cool. For this year, um, May, another Macy's balloon, uh, rocking giraffe. A rocking giraffe cruiser. There you go. <laughs> rocking like a rocking horse, but it's a giraffe. Well, you know, you I know we're getting excited. jokes on this one. You got cruiser excited. Now he has the face. Uh, ro okay. It, if I want to see which one of you two do, does it first, the rocking lobster. Rock lobster. <laughs> Was that what you were expecting to do? Uh, Say, hey, rocking... sweetie. <laughs> He's expecting us to do the family no, guy. No, family guy. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. Well, actually, it's uh, the the rocking moose. Okay. Santa's sleigh. Ooh, Santa's sleigh. I hate that movie. Yeah, uh, the Peanuts. Uh, Lego. Yeah. Sounds awesome. Are they not doing it this year? Shit, I'd be amazed. Not doing what? Uh, as far as I can tell, there's no there there's no Cracker Barrel. I have to look it up. I'll probably look it up uh, a little later. But uh, I'm just gonna skip the marching mans. Uh, performers. Now, this is not so. Yeah, this is some combination. I think this is the combination of the musicals and whatnot. But um, going down the list, um, 
Adam Devine, Sarah Highland, uh, and flew aboard for uh, this is for this is to promote their uh, the Peacock original Pitch Perfect bumper in Berlin, which I I actually do like Pitch Perfect, so I'm probably gonna mm. see it. Uh, Betty Who, the last thing kind of gives my uh, thought my thoughts on it because I have no idea. Who this person is. Big time rush. What? They're back. Yeah, they're showing up for it. <laughs> Nickelodeon's boy and band? Actually, yeah. Mm. And I'm actually part of uh, Macy's uh, parade group uh, uh, Discord server. So I'm, I've been kind of in the know for these for a little while. Yeah. Uh, Blanco Brown. I have no idea who that is. Uh, Cam. Again, still don't know who that is. He was the guy on Mystery Brewing Theater. <laughs> uh, Donnie Warwick. Fits in the tantrums. I know who they are. But I, I'm like... Okay. Uh, Gloria Stasha and Emily Estefan. I have a feeling this is for a promotion or something. This one I haven't heard in a while. Jordan Sparks. Really? Yeah. That is crazy. Uh, Joss Stone. Uh, Kirk Franklin. Uh, they got Miss America, Emma Broyles. Uh -huh. For the old fans, Paula Abdul. Mm. Apologize, dude. I got to give you at least five minutes if you want to talk about Pokemon still. Okay. Uh, Sean Paul, uh, Trombone Shorty, Orleans Avenue, and Ziggy Marley. Ziggy. Only one that I was actually was confu I was uh, I was disappointed with that they did not do. Is um, they didn't bring they didn't have Backstreet Boys this year because they have a Christmas album this year. Oh my god, which I'll be getting the vinyl of in, in uh, <laughs> next month. And yes, I will be talking about it when it comes in. Really? Okay, so yeah, that's it for the major stuff. They're probably gonna be updating it a little more, but that's it for that. For Vinks is Parade, um. Of course, I'm gonna watch it. Am I? I I'm not too fond of the performers this year. That's how like maybe two or three. But um, it's tradition. You can all uh, it'll be on NB, uh, NBC, nine o'clock throughout throughout your time zones, and you'll also be streaming on Peacock again this year. Cool. So, shall we talk about Pokemon? I'm waiting for them to make a giant floating Macy's balloon of Al Roker. That'd be fucking hilarious. <laughs> okay, should I uh, go meet our guest, Evan? Yeah, you should go check in on, on their guests and everything, on everything, and I'll, uh, I'll and just let me know when they're ready, and I'll just uh, get you back. I'll shut down the stream around like in about ten minutes. All right. Thank you. All right. So now I'll touch on Pokemon in the meantime. Sure, I'll be here looking up random shit. All right, so as everyone knows, Pokemon Scarlet and Violet just came out. I went to a uh, early release event, and I bought the uh, I got the double pack, so I got my pins. Nice. And uh, I got this. I got this um, a while ago, but. Um, so yeah, my I'm not giving a full review because I just started it, but I want to give you guys my first impressions. Um, big concerns of uh, a lot of people: is it a buggy mess? Yes, it is. Um, though thankfully, it's really only uh, it's only visual unless you do certain things. Um, is it? 
but is it fun? Yes, it is. I love that it's open world. And I mean, truly, honest to God, open world. It's not like Arceus where there is a, where it's just one area, loading screen, another area. It is seamless. I enjoy the random encounter. I enjoy not having to do the random encounters and being forced into Pokemon battles with trainers. Uh, the story points of uh, <clears throat> the three ones that you do, they're there. Do them whenever. I, I've only been doing the gym, so that way I can at least be able to go further with my Pokemon. Um. The Let's Go feature in it is actually really, really nice and comes in real handy. Mm -hmm. And I tried not to do uh, a team of mostly old Pokemon, but I ended up doing a whole team of almost a whole team of old Pokemon with like two or three exceptions. One of them is the starter, of course. Pick Brigatito. What'd you name him? I actually didn't name him. Oh, I thought we were going get, to get Quaxley and name him FedEx. I mean, name him Grapes. No, uh, or Jotaro. I don't get it. The hair. Hey, does, it, does Quaxley have, have Jotaro's hair? Yeah. Huh. But, um,. I'm still learning and figuring out the customization for the uh, character. However, thank God, first time, before you even start the game, you're able to customize how your character looks facial-wise. Yeah. And uh, for the clothes, I haven't really been able to explore that much outside of a little, th a few little things. Um, you're able to switch out uh, uniforms school uniforms. I don't know if you can buy others yet. But so far, my character is rocking the uh, the winter uniform. And glasses. Um, I haven't tried the uh, co-op yet. Cool. Give it some time. I still gotta wait. I'm probably gonna get mine for Christmas, so yeah. Yeah. Um, would I recommend it? Yes, but with a condition. That condition being that you don't really mind uh, visual glitches. If you mind visual glitches and they kind of bother you, Give it a little time, they're probably going to release a patch in like maybe a couple weeks to a month. Hmm. I see. The only real serious issue that I've noticed with it, and this is only because I've heard it from others, is a memory leak. But apparently that's easily fixed. What do you mean by memory leak? What is that about? Um, from my understanding, it messes with the performance issues causing the visual glitches oh because it stockpiles so much memory yikes that kind of caught that kind of messes with the game with uh with the performance of the game but there are easy fixes to it and like i said i'm sure there's probably a passion to patch for it in like a month or two like maybe a couple weeks to a month not really is simple enough. Well, they're probably going to be acting on it soon, so why not? Oh, probably. I wouldn't be surprised if, like, that was done, like... It was done, like, um... It, it, it was, it's probably going to be done relatively quickly, honestly. I don't, I, I have faith in Nintendo and what they're going to be achieving soon, so... I do, I do too. But, um... I'm not saying it's a perfect game, but I I've been enjoying it since I got it, and I like I said I do recommend it with the condition that you do not mind 
um, the visual glitches. And there are some that are actually pretty fucking goofy as hell. I love it. I heard people like have been able to escape the board map and everything. I've heard that too, but that's like very specific on what you have to do for that. Hmm. I hear you. Well, yeah. But yeah, I get since I got the double pack, I mean, I, I'll be playing both of them back to back. That's good. I mean, like, you're probably going to be playing them both there. Have you beaten the game yet? No. I like, I picked it up last Thursday night, and I was not able to really play it until, like, set yesterday. Really? That's, I'm sorry. To, yeah, I didn't have a lot of time to, to play it. It must have been a good time. Oh, it was good when I got when uh when I got it. Well, I'm looking forward it was to like, it. That's, that's just life. Well, I'm looking forward to it. I'm going to imagine, like, by the time I get it, everything will be patched up and be fine. I mean, like, last thing I want to do is just get ripped off. I feel like I got ripped off with a bad game. I mean, like, I don't want a repeat of Sonic Boom, Rise of Lyric. I never played that game, but I heard it's the best. And by the best, yeah. I mean the worst. But, yeah, you know... Hold on a second. Cruiser's giving me the go-to that will be ready. Alright. Yeah, but like, yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to training my Quaxley and doing that stuff. Training my Quaxley what? <laughs> Giggity. Yeah, that's what I thought. That's fine. <laughs> so, yes, um, for those of you coming in right now, um, Carrie will be joining us in about uh, five minutes or so. So, yeah, we will be, um, uh... We are currently getting things ready for... We're not supposed to see that. We're going to be having him on, and we'll be, um, uh... Having a good time there, bringing him on there. We're going to be talking Aqua Teen Hunger Force, doing... Doing, um, uh, stuff there. Um, did you see the uh, new movie, um, Plantasm yet? No, I haven't. Ah, uh, damn it, we're going to have a, pro a problem then. Why do you do this to me? I more blame that I just been busy. All right, um, but yeah, it's gonna be a good time there. I'm looking forward to I'm uh, I'm looking forward to uh talking more about it because me and Cruiser watched it together and it was a big time there. We thought it was a lot of fun. Kuma saw it; it was a good time. So, yeah. Um. Anyway, we'll be right back. Um, um. We'll try and see if we can answer any questions you might have in the chat. We'll see if we can bring them up. And so on and so on. So with that being said, stand by. We'll be with you momentarily. We'll be in the call during the interview. We will not be taking call-ins. You can ask our guest questions in the chat. Please be aware that not all questions will be answered, so we apologize in advance. We now return you to your regularly scheduled program. For you, but good luck. <laughs> Welcome Mike back. Could for... get him to do it. <laughs> Welcome back, everybody, <laughs> to another nerdy talk show. We're back here with my usual suspects, having a good time here. And this, and we got a returning character, Mr. Carrie Means of Aqua Teen Hunger Force fame. Welcome back to the show, sir. A returning character. I like the way you put that. <laughs> returning character. Another, the man, the myth, the legend. <laughs> operation. Frylock's in the house. And you know he's in the house, y'all. What's up? Welcome back, Harry. Welcome back, yes, sir. Yes, good to be back. Y yeah, Missed especially guys. Especially with the yeah, new movie, the Plantasm. Yep. Plantasm. Michael T. Hunger Force forever, Plantasm. Hell yes. Oh, Evan, and I, uh, Evan and I watched this movie. I watched it several times. Uh, one for the lulls, two to actually pay attention, and three to hear the commentary track. <laughs> Uh, oh boy! Oh yeah, I made sure I explored this. Thing. <laughs> you listened to commentary. You you delved deep. 
Oh yeah, in, in the Matrix. Then, this there, guy, sir. This guy dives deeper than you think. I mean, like I've seen him, seen him go into more research with music. I've heard him go and research with movies with commentary. He, he's a commentary huge dude, man. So, oh, he knows how to go deep, all right, Evan. You would know. How that <laughs> oh, oh, <laughs> thank you. So let's go ahead right. and get started here. Uh, how did uh, how did this movie come about? Uh, Aqua Team Plantasm. Now you know you asking the wrong guy how it came about. I'm just the the hired talent, man. You know, I show up at the studio when they tell me to show up. I read what they tell me to read. You gotta okay, ask well, Dave Willis, the co creator of the show. How okay, well about. then I'll rephrase you know, that. It, it okay, let me put it to you this way. They've been knocking around several ideas for several years, ever since we were officially or unofficially canceled. Depends on who you ask and how you look at it. It was all types of stuff, you know. They 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 were talking about doing a sequel to the first movie and they were gonna what were they gonna call it? Death Games or Death Gate or something like that. Something yeah. death. Up and there's Kuma. Kuma. Welcome, Kuma. Sound God, that like voice a video too. game character. Kuma. <laughs> the boss hey, that you fight at the last okay. level of Mario Brothers. <laughs> Super Kuma. <laughs> hey all what's up uh throwing turtles this? at you yeah i can hear you man right, okay so well anyway hey, what is up carrier nice <laughs> to see you is again up? i told him i did not want to be involved in this unless you know, i did not want involved in the first hour because i wanted to just be with you <laughs> oh kuma you touch me in so many places <laughs> i love it uh, it's good guys are great <laughs> Hey, man, look, let me tell you something right now, man. I feel a warm sensation. Try like is back on top. Rock you like a cop. Yes. Meet wise, you can't have your knock knock yet because Fry like ain't done with it. That's what I said. <laughs> Definitely agree on that, man. Fry like was. Tell him I said it. Oh, well, you know, I didn't have nothing to do with the way they wrote it. They just know and recognize greatness when they see it, man. That's all it is. You well, know, what you know think who the, the real leader of Aqua Teen is? When I read it, I was like, yeah, two street toughs beat up Frylock and steal his jewel and cut him up and all that. I'm oh, like, my God. It's kind of far-fetched, yeah. don't you think, guys? Don't you think I could have zapped those two punks? <laughs> Definitely, No dude. problem with my laser eyes, you know what I'm saying? At least <laughs> at least, at least six to ten after Frylock. You know, got, two little punks. One of them. You, you know what I'm saying? That's them. what I'm saying. It'll make Frylock look all like a bitch. To have them, like have to toughs. run away, try to get back. Get out fight. of here, you street toughs! I can't even remember <laughs> who did Neil. They wanted Jack Black. See, I bet y'all didn't know that. I uh, did not. No. Actually. Oh, wow. They <laughs> wanted Jack Black to do Neil, and I was all hyped. I was all hyped and excited for it. I was like, "Ooh, that'd be pretty I cool." Think, uh, Frylock gets to be besties with Jack Black in the movie. That would be I dope. Think from what I saw, it was uh, someone Peter. See. I... Diff, uh, diff yeah, that guy. Yeah. It was him. It was that guy. He was good. He was good, though. He was great, man. Oh, absolutely. He great. Did good. Yeah. yeah, talking to oneself as well, too. Like, you know, bigger self, little self. That was pretty funny. And they wanted they wanted, they wanted, wanted Dikembe Mutombo to be uh, in Sean Kemp's role. <laughs> but no, they had to go with Sean so Kemp. Only he could have pulled it off, man. Oh, Sean so Kemp was you all... good. He was good. Oh, yeah, he was great. He was really in on it. Was, so you guys all recorded your lines uh, individually. You weren't all in the room together. Oh man, it's the, that's the classic question, man. Didn't y'all ask me that before? When y'all oh, interviewed me, were you guys ever in the that's same like room? Did. Did record? Yeah. Everybody asked that. No, we're never in the same room. Usually, when we record. Dana's in L.A. You know, they fly them in sometimes, though. When we're doing the commentary stuff, we're in the same room. Like, even for the new movie, when you saw the commentary shit, we were all in the same room then. We were all in the same studio. Me, Dave, Matt, and Dana were all in the same studio just talking shit about the movie, you know, basic, basically riff tracking our own shit. That's awesome. basically what that's all <laughs> I we noticed. were doing. <laughs> if you pay attention to, to it. And I had never seen the final cut. So I'm sitting there trying to watch the movie while we're doing the commentary. Oh, that was true. That's why they that kept egging me on, talking about, Gary, Gary, don't you have something to say right here? I was like, oh, man, this is awesome. Oh, yeah, let me talk shit about it. 
now. Right now. I was now. wondering if that was true or not. It was true. I had never seen the final cut of the movie until we did the commentary. So I'm sitting there like, oh, man, that looks very refreshing. What are you smoking over there? Some smoke just coming out of his mouth. He's like sitting there <laughs> with his Delta 9. Uh, sitting there with your Delta close, 9. Eight. Getting all high on podcast. You're not even, close. You're not even was, sharing with Frylock. You're supposed to pass. Oh, yeah, I would. Pass the Dutch So. So Blasky, unpro- we've gone over this before. Everything smoked on here has to be shared with Blasky. Oh, oh Bogart. Don't Bogart, man. Puff, puff, pass. <laughs> Come on, man. Pass yeah, down. Yeah, Bogart, man. Yeah, Jablonski well, says the stoner. You're, you're being very unprofessional. You did not offer. You did not <laughs> ask <laughs> anybody. I feel so what, no, we, 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 Well, this is the weak crap, so. Oh, so, this is the weak crap. Okay. What does Frylock smoke? Frylock is smoke. Crystal. <laughs> he, <laughs> well, he well, is hot. Know, he can sizzle. Comes from his eyes, baby. That's what's up. You know. But that's why. That's why Super Birthday Snake is my favorite episode because he tells that dude to bring over a couple of bitches before I put a cigarette out in your damn eye. Possibly my favorite Frylock then, line. You know, your favorite Frylock line is what? What is it? Get some vegetables before I put oh, a cigarette that? in your damn eye. Oh, what I just said? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, man. That's my favorite favorite Aqua Teen episode, of course. I like so, gets all well, pimped out and kills everybody. Come on. Could you not love that? Exactly. What did you think? Even though it was a computer simulation to show Meatwad that he wasn't ready <laughs> to have a pet. <laughs> and Meatwad still eats his brains. Come on, Nathan. Lap them up while they're still warm. <laughs> I can't so do meat wide, the... man. I can't do meat wide. I can't. I can barely do meat wide myself. There you it. go. There, there it is. is. Oh. You can't barely oh. do meat wide. That was a perfect spinning image right there. Come on. Let's smell the That was a joke, Evan. What am... so what is what, is what I'm going to tell you to do? It's, it's the fact that your underwear is two sizes too small, isn't it? That's how you can do it. Oh. Yes. I've been at work like this all day, man. Yeah, oh, baby. So what do you think of the recasting of Boxy Brown? Oh, that would kill Dave Mike. Willis canceled himself. <laughs> they recast Boxy Brown. I think it sucked. Really? Killer yeah. Mike. I love you as a rapper, brother, but um, you know Boxy Brown, I'm sorry. Oh, it's just, damn. <laughs> it's just horrible. Yeah, For years, I did not like it at all. The whitest white boy you ever want to meet, Dave Willis, is the voice of Boxy Brown, and they had Killer Mike doing it in the movie, and he was subpar, yeah. to say the least. <laughs> hey, he still what got paid. You... you know what are you gonna do? You know, exactly. T Pain played me, so there you go. What did you think of the uh, the update to the animation? What do I think of it? I yeah. think they could have spent that money paying me more money to do the <laughs> movie. <laughs> <laughs> Left it, it like wasn't... it was. No, it was good. It was good. It was good. It was good. You know, these guys, they go out to Skywalker Ranch, man, and they do this stuff, man. They, they actually literally go out there to Lucas's ranch, and they they mix and edit this stuff. I don't know why they need to go out to Skywalker Ranch to do it. But I'm surprised Just to say they went out to Skywalker Ranch to do it, you know, so that's cool. They never invited me. I would have loved to go with the Skywalker Ranch. They probably would kick me out, though, because I would be like, Mr. Lucas, Mr. Lucas, how did you do this scene? How'd you do that? How'd you do this? How'd you do that? He'd get tired of me. Like, can you get rid of this guy? He keeps asking me questions about Star Wars. I'm just sick of him. Exactly. What Jar Jar Binks? What's that? Were you, were you drunk? Were you high? What What did you do? Why did you write Jar Jar Binks? He's very racist, Mr. Lucas. Oh, no. You know that, right? You know that. Oh, yeah. We totally yeah, he know that. Definitely, he definitely would kick me out. Of Skywalker Ranch, because I would ask him, "What the hell were you smoking when you wrote George R. Binks into the script?" Come on, dude. Definitely. But the, the guy he came up with the voice himself, didn't he? Something like oh, that. Oh yeah, I, I think he did. Yeah, he came up with it, and Luke's was like, "Yes, that's it. Let's do it." And I'm like, "Really?" Like, even I feel like yeah, like the idea of George R. Like like his race specifically. Not nah, the guy. The guy like, came unique. up with it. He came up with it. The comedian, whoever he was. I say was because I don't remember him doing much after that. Yeah, it really. If anything, yeah, it. I like. I don't want to say it killed his career, but it definitely made him depressed. killed it. I didn't know he had one. He he had one before. <laughs> that. 
<laughs> well, he was in one movie, I remember. He was in like this musical. It was called Dance and It's On. Or okay, something. okay, okay. We're not here to talk about him. Yeah, right. He okay. still gets his he gets his royalty checks from being Misa Yusa Masa Misa, whatever the <laughs> hell he said. Uh, but so that's, that's his business. That's his. I thought it was Kevin Clash. I thought it was Elmo at first. My God. <laughs> That was doing it. I was like, I want to kick his ass anyway, because I heard some things about Elmo, you know, but that's another story. Oh, yeah. Yeah. He was uh, a little too friendly with the kids. I don't know if that's true. Maybe it's some made-up shit. You know how people say once they make up stuff about you, you know, you you hit the big time. It never ends. Then you get your own stalker and all that good stuff, you know. Oh, yeah. I don't want a stalker. No, I can imagine nobody would. So, what did you think of the of the story altogether for the new movie? The story itself, oh, you yeah. know, it was typical Aqua Teen. It didn't make damn and damn lick of sense. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> that's what just I was Just like saying. anything else we've done, you know, uh, it's just it's just a jab at modern day culture, like Bezos and Amazon and all yeah, that. Yeah, amazing also Amazon. A at, also, you know. a jab at the Matrix a little too there. Oh, it's a jab at. Uh, Space Jam movies, the intro. Yeah, that was the beginning. Definitely a jab at the Space Jam movies. Uh, that was, a, jab that was, at, a jab at I, Suicide Squad. What's so funny is people saw the intro. They put the intro out like a week or two before the movie was released, and people actually, I don't know what they thought. They thought it was something else. They didn't know it was the intro to the movie. They were like, man, what do you got to do my boy Frylock like that, man? Make him look all stupid. And stuff. You it's know, like the, you saw the like, first movie. How could you like friggin'? Uh, but you know, our fans are our fans smoke a lot of weed. Yeah, you know, can't weed. deny that. Cannot deny that at all. And uh, that's just the way they perceive things. You know, I just happen to have. Oh, no. They thought that this <laughs> was. They thought it was like a new opening for a new season or something like that. It was like, is this the show coming back? I'm like, no, dummies, this the movie is coming out. It's okay though. It's okay. I love okay. I love my fans. Okay Without them, short. I wouldn't be here today. And I should be hearing for the Academy any minute now. For my <laughs> nomination. My stellar performance. An Aqua Teen Hunger Force Forever Plantasm. A Frylock story. That's what they should have finished the title and called it. Frylock's oh, Legacy. Like... <laughs> what was your favorite uh, part? My favorite part was the whole thing because I was in it. <laughs> I mean, it must have been great to be um, asked back to be to play the character. I mean, like, how, how did you react when you when they you actually did hear about the new movie? Oh, Dude, it's like we he, he never left. It's like you know, it's like riding a bike, man. You get back on there. The mic turns on and boom, these characters come right out. At least that's how it was for me. It was like we never left. That's, that's what it felt like to me. Like we never stopped doing it. If it was up to me, we would never stop doing it. <laughs> but, you know, I mean, the show was paying my rent. I thought it was going great. But that's what, it, but, but on the other hand, we had no idea the show was going to last as long as it did. You know, you, you thinking, how long is this really going to last? You know what I'm saying? So it's kind of like living the moment. Milkshake and a box of fries. There's only so much they can write about this stuff. You know what I'm saying? And just like after a while, it started writing itself. You know, kind of, sort of. The way we did it, we just went in, we did it. Boom, boom, bam. Each episode was only, what, 11, 12 minutes long? So didn't cost them next to nothing to make an episode. So I figure, hey, maybe this will lead to a new season or a, some the rebirth of Aqua Teen. Who knows? Maybe they'll bring us back. Cross. That's but, what uh, French fries cross, baby. Yeah. I mean, I yeah. kind of cool Aqua to see Dog, them was... as a. Sorry, go on. Come on. No, I was saying like it'd be cool to see them as a more mentor Aqua Teen Hunger Force. Aqua Donk side pieces. Did y'all see the Aqua Donk side pieces? Oh, I loved YouTube? them. I loved them very much. They were funny. They were fun. The guy was so psyched to see him back in the role, man. It was really awesome. Three and a half minutes or so long, each of them. All these little different side characters had all their little shenanigans going on, like Ham Banana and the Brood Witch was the Brood Rap and all this stuff. It was cool, man. It was cool. It was fun. 
There's like three Adult Swim shows I would love to have a return. Aqua Teen Hunger Force, obviously. Mm. Um, Metal Ocalypse and Venture Brothers. Well, Metal Ocalypse and Venture Brothers are supposed to be having their own movies, respectively. Yeah, they're... coming out as well. That's what I heard. I mean, I don't know. Don't don't yeah, don't quote me, but I they know. say that their movies are coming too. They probably are. I'm pretty sure. The fan base is there. Like I said, you know, these shows, man. You think back, man, it's like I found this old plate. They sent us these plates with the, you know, with all the characters from back in that era, like 2001 to 2017. All these different shows they had, including Aqua Team, Metal Apocalypse, and all this. You get little windows in the plate with the characters from the shows. Oh, yeah, you showed us that. And was I was, a, like, really good was like, wow, that's taking it back. One of the few things they sent me, like one one Christmas they sent me this plate, you know. One year they sent me a hammer. <laughs> a hammer? Yeah. I still have it. My wife <laughs> uses it frequently. It's an adult swim hammer. No shit. Nice, man. <laughs> Drive nails in with it all the time. It says adult swim engraved right on the right on the handle. Oh, they sent me a hammock last year. A hammock. <laughs> oh, we live in an apartment. <laughs> I don't know. I'm scared to put it on the balcony. I might swing and fall off that mother. Yeah, definitely something you don't want to try and do, man. I mean, like, yeah. Voice actor falls off hammock and dies immediately upon impact. Oh, my no, God. It's cool. It's cool. The hammock is cool. Maybe I'll give it to somebody who, who has a house with two Does it trees. Does it say adult swim on the by. hammock? I don't know. I haven't opened it up. You know, it's... <laughs> Really no reason for me to stretch a hammock out in my apartment at the moment. The cats mm-hmm. would probably love it, though. You know, they'd probably oh, yeah, jump in it all the time. Get stuck with the claws. That'd be hilarious. I Maybe I'd just yeah, set it up for, for their pleasure. And then just film it, put the videos on YouTube. Do Cat videos of Frylock's hammock. <laughs> yeah, do a voiceover for them. That'd actually be kind of, a little something, kind of like a cool little uh, short series. Frylock, Frylock with a cat. <laughs> Frylock's cats. Yep. I couldn't call it Frylock's cats, though. I don't, wouldn't want to be sued. I call Just it Carrie Means. Carrie Means. Carrie Means kitties. Kitties. There you go. Kitty Means. <laughs> kitty Means. Kitty Means. <laughs> uh-huh. I like that. It's the Kitty Means show with the kitties. <laughs> what hijinks oh. and shenanigans are they going to get into today, folks? Yeah, it's crazy stuff. Definitely. Definitely. Then I'd have to come up with new content. So I know how that shit go. You got to go out and start making up content then. Mm-hmm. Kitties on the street, and kitties on crack, whatever. You got to try different shit. Kitties on catnip. Definitely. That'd be <laughs> funny. That's a classic one right there. When these boys get on catnip, they get off the chizane. Shout it. If any of you guys got cats who. Done that catnip, you know what I mean? Yep. I don't know. Let me ask these three guys. Hey guys, have you? Can you get respond to that? Any experience? I can yeah. confirm. Can <laughs> confirm. My cat's at home. Yep. Uh, anyway, uh, Jablonski, uh, go ahead and ask your question. Jablonski, <laughs> wake up, Jablonski. I know. So what's your question? Suspense. I can't really think of one. I, I can't really think of one. This. Oh come on, Jablowski. <laughs> okay. Yes. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. Uh, uh, do you want me to go? Of all the to... of all these guys, I'm the only one that hasn't seen the movie. Oh snap! So no spoilers, I guess, huh, fellas? No, go ahead. Spoilers. Hey, He's had his... I don't care. He's had his chance. Uh, yeah. Other... Why yeah. haven't you seen the movie? I work essentially work and just oh, oh, craziness busy. at home. Yep. With where you work? At? Coming where up you work? That. Where you work? Uh, healthcare. Okay, you a nurse? No, uh, non clinical janitor. <laughs> Close. Maintenance. Uh, I clean the rooms. Okay, I've done that. I know what you're going through. I used to clean up after operations. 
Whoa. Oh, so you did OR. Yeah, I did OR cleanup, man. That was fun. It's just messy. No, it wasn't fun. It sucked. Now, if you get stuck with one of these needles, now you go see your supervisor. If I get stuck with one of these needles, I want an AIDS test, bitch. You know? Exactly. <laughs> that's what they want they you. You, know, you got to clean up the AIDS ward. And then you get but stuck with a needle. You're supposed to just run and tell your supervisor about it. Hey, supervisor, I got stuck with one of these needles. Supervisor just look at you like, well, you about to die. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. Are there any uh, plans to make more YouTube uh, it's shorts? Rare. It's rare. Any plans to make more? I, you know what? Your guess is good as mine. That's a good question. I'm glad you asked it. I have no idea. No, sir. I know not. But I can tell you this. There may be some, uh, supposedly now, this is coming from Dave Willis, the co-creator of the show. So if it does not come to fruition, don't blame memes. Blame Dave Willis, co-creator of Aqua Teen. He told me this. There's supposed to be some Aqua Teen themed Funko Pops coming down the pike. Oh, Ooh, that'd be yeah, awesome. I'm going to get my hands Finally. on one of those. Finally. <laughs> and I've been wondering for years myself, where are the Aqua Teen Funko Pops, man. Why are there no Aqua Teen themed Funko Pops? I agree with you, man. I mean, like, I mean, really? think about it. Just Carl alone would fly off the shelves, you know. Yeah. From Hand Banana to the Moon Knights to just the basic Aqua Teens, man. Dude, you can't. Uh, be dope. For the Moon Knights, it has to be like a very thin thing on the side. Like, uh -huh. It has to be their full image, and then when you turn it to the side, it's just very Paper thin. thin. <laughs> Definitely. Yeah. Well, that's, that'd be something. You know, that'd be something. But, you know, they, they did that thing at Carl's Jr.'s and Hardy's with the little figurine, the Adult Swim figurines. Oh, yeah. yeah. I was oh, I getting people that. to send me the Frylock ones so I could sign it for them. So I was <laughs> signing the Frylock figurines and sending them back for $25 a pop. So that was going what pretty good. <clears throat> no, it was, I was. It was cool. I did one recently for a buddy of mine who was a good friend of mine. I didn't charge him twenty five though. He got a discount All right. because he's cool like that. <laughs> I do have some friends, contrary to popular opinion. That don't imagine her. Yeah, yeah some <laughs> some friends. My wife right. only let me play with her and her dad. We go out and play pool twice a week. Cool. Oh, nice. Oh, nice. Shoot you some good stick. Pool? I'm all right. I'm pretty fair. You know, my maybe maybe able to hook your ass in some nine ball. Absolutely. Yeah. I like nine ball. Nine ball is good. Uh, okay. Nine ball is fun. Uh, prefer it's better nine than ball eight ball. Just regular billiards. It's better than eight ball. It's better than regular billiards because you know it takes too long. You know you got to go through all those balls and then you got to <laughs> shoot the eight ball last and all that crap. Nine ball, you can sink it at any time and the game's over. Go to the next game. That's what's up. Yeah. All right, Kuma, go up and have fun. Okay. Harry, All my question right. is, did these What's guys just question? come in and just start asking you questions off the bat? No. Okay, good, because like no, that, that's no, a thing no. we need to we need to stop here. <laughs> no, they just, no, no. They just want to bring in the guests and just ask questions. I'm oh, I'm, right I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. Whatever no, no. you got. Whatever you got. No, no, no. It's just a thing. I just want to. I just want to get well, the funny because y'all like... ask me. Who asked me, Justin? You asked me. Says, "What is there anything you don't want to talk about? Is there anything you don't wish to be asked?" And I was like, "You can ask me anything you want. That don't mean you're gonna get the answer you're looking for. You might not get the answer you want, but you can ask me whatever you want. So there, uh, so fire uh, okay. away. Uh, whatever yeah. you got to ask, you will get uh, an yeah. answer. Yeah, I'm not saying no this question. the answer you were seeking." But you shall receive one. How's that? Yep. So. Okay. Well, I know you're an um, artist. You actually are. You know, trained. You are in traditional art. Do you feel like the art world has taken a dive with uh, dude, with modern art these days? Dude, just, dude, didn't dude, you just kind of skip oh, I feel over the me. art world is taking a dive. Traditional art. I thought that was Wait, your question. Fine, traditional. No, art. it was a joke question. Define uh, traditional art, though. What's traditional art to you? I'm seeing just a lot of splatter, a lot of barf art, stuff that doesn't make any sense. Barf art. I like the term you use there, barf art. You know, like Jackson Pollock stuff? or Yeah. Just, you know what's interesting to me? When people just take the paint cans and they put it on a little gyro thing and they just 
<laughs> oh, those are actually kind of cool. Goes around and around and just splatters paint. Then they get a different color. And then it goes I around and around. And before you know it, you got a masterpiece. What I did see that was amazing to me the other day was this elephant. That it's too it's to be and it has three and all those were back. And really? the guy had a caption going, this elephant paints better than I do. And I'm like, this is true. Elephant painted most people I know. It was it was a damn good painting too. Animals <laughs> taking over. They aren't just for dinner anymore. Uh, sorry, but please ask your question. Please. Sorry about that. Oh, I Kuba. get to. Yes, you get to ask your question. Good. No, what my my question would just be like, how do you generally just like shoot the shit? Like what? Like like just. Like, after the day or after your day at work, what what really do you just go out and do? How do I generally shoot the shit? Yeah. Do podcasts, my you good man. Well, I just, just, just no, podcast. I just, just I spend my time trying to finish the commissions that I got, man. Cause since you mentioned that I you guys mentioned that I do artwork. I do Aqua Teen themed commissions. They start at 180. Oh, wow. They go up from there. You know, if you're looking for me to do a piece for you, they're usually around nine by 12, and they're on very solid, good, good universal type paper that you can paint, draw, ink on, and all that type of stuff. And it absorbs and it doesn't bleed. Good, good quality paper, poster board type paper. And uh, I do original pieces, Aqua Teen pieces. For people, start uh, at 180. If you want right. just the Aqua Teens and maybe Carl and the Moon and I thrown in there, I can do that. Or okay. if you want, if you want Carl jet skiing with meat wide as jet skis, and you want the Moon and I shooting little pixels at Carl while he's jet skiing from their little tugboat, that's gonna cost you a little more than 180. You know what I mean? But yeah. otherwise, that's what they start at. So. Okay. Yeah, stuff like that. And whatever you send me, I can sign and send it back to you. No problemo, as long as you pay what I ask to Duly sign. Noted. It. I'm on Cameo. Oh. I'm on oh, no. Instagram, Facebook. I got a Facebook sales page, Carrie Means Dash, Voice of Frylock. You can look at my whole roster. I got prints and stuff like that for sale. Some of them come from commissions I've done myself, some of them come from other artists. So, uh, a plethora of merchandise and wear. Not not different merchandise, per se, but just prints and stuff. Prints and stuff that I've drawn and stuff that my wife has pilfered off the internet that I could sign for you and send to you. Same. Things of that nature. Shipping is always free within the continental United States. Awesome. Really noted. Have you been like an artist YouTube all your life? channel. I have a YouTube channel as well. You can check that out. Oh, really? It's just me... And my shenanigans and goings ons at different kinds and shows I've been at over the years, and things of that nature. When I'm up to, you know, stuff like that, stuff like this. Well, you guys will post this when yeah, we're done, when you edit all, all the naughty bits. <laughs> or not. I never Doesn't do. matter. I never do. Doesn't matter. You don't have to edit it out, you can leave it all in there. I oh, ain't no, no shame yeah, we, yeah. in my game. Whatever I said, I said it. <laughs> oh, no, don't worry. We don't have any bleeps or bloops or anything on this. Bleeps, bloops, and blunders. The, the beat, the creep, and the sweeps. <laughs> All right. Oh, you uh, got space balls on me there with that one. Oh, I love space balls. Oh. I've lost the bleeps. Oh, beep, 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 the creeps, bloop, bloop, and the sweeps. I really I really did like John Candy in that movie. Amazing. Oh, Bar Follow Mew? <laughs> oh, hell yeah. Bar There's a long shot. I don't know if this is true. I'm gonna have to pause the movie next time I watch it. There's a long shot with them when they park outside the diner, and you see the Winnebago, and you see and the Millennium right next, Falcon. Yeah, right next to Falcon, Falcon is right Falcon. next to it. Mm -hmm. I never noticed that, but it's probably in there. I'm sure, it is. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, Lucas don't, don't give a fuck. Lucas is probably laughed like hell when he saw it. You know, oh, oh, Lucas is the one who suggested the uh, the merchandise scene. On the yeah. merchandising Did he really? that was Lucas, no, yeah. Space balls. Mm -hmm. Where yogurt Space is just rather like... the flamethrower. Kids love this. <laughs> <For> the children. <laughs> Schwartz, be with you. 
<laughs> and also with you. Yeah, wasn't and like wasn't like the big thing for for him as well too was just like Lone Star couldn't look like uh couldn't look like um dang why is uh, Han Solo right yeah. yeah I think that was like one of his yeah. biggest concerns as well. All right, Evan. Uh, how long have you been painting? Was it like something you picked up along the way, or like have you been painting since like you were a child or anything like that? Or uh, you know, man, I started drawing when I was a kid. You know what I'm saying? Reading comic books, and got turned on to the form of body, anatomy, things of that nature. I could just draw what I saw, whatever it was. You know, what I'm saying still life or. Animal sitting in a windowsill, whatever it is, I could just draw it, you know. I mean, that's and interesting was, stuff because I'm like an artist I myself. I thought it was cool. <laughs> I was a commercial art major in college. Oh, wow. I, I didn't started know. Started off as a music major, but once I got to music theory, I was done. I was like, I can't, I can't write a song. I can't. It was like calculus with notes, man. I couldn't do it. So I was like, I got to change my major to something I can do. Oh, I know. I go back to drawing, hey, old drawing board. So I changed it to commercial art, man, and I stuck with that. I still was a music minor, kind of, sort of. So that was cool. Well you, well, you can still do the Frylock rap, though. The Frylock rap, which what 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 do you call that? At the, end, the, at the end of Aqua Teens Forever. The Frylock rap. How does it go? You you know it. You know the Frylock uh, rap. Rock by the Cosmo, shot by Tater Tots up, busting the moon. Ah, nice uh, <laughs> you do know a little bit. Uh, that's that's the intro for the last season. Yeah, I've been hunger for us forever. They they called me up and said, "Kevin, we're gonna do a new theme song for the for the last season." I was like, "Okay." I get to the studio and there's like two little strips of paper. And Dave Willis holds up. Here's your part. And I was like, "Oh no 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 no! Let me hear that beat one more time." I sat down right there next to my wife and wrote out my own funky rap lyrics. Went in the booth and dropped the funky rhyme on them. Yo, I got jacked by the cops and shot potato tots, busted the moon, nice flinging moon rocks. Got to meet while watching the lemonade shake the fries going down. Here come the drum break. <laughs> that's right. That's right. I got IMDb credit for that too. Music producer. Yeah, I noticed that as well. Uh, yeah. So they called me up one other time to do an album back in 2000 five or six or something like that and i was like okay this is it i'm about to bust a funky rhyme on the ass fry like style so i started writing all these rap lyrics out right i get to the studio and dave willis is like oh it's a christmas album <laughs> like, what <laughs> was it sing oh holy night so they knew i was classically trained you know i sang with the atlanta opera chorus the atlanta super oh, what? chorus i didn't know that all these groups here in atlanta I've done a lot of musical theater stuff like that wow. so they knew i was already classically trained and I started singing, Oh, Holy Night, the stars are brightly shining. You know, the song is going on and on. When I finished, Dave Willis was like, Man, that was beautiful, Carrie. Like, can you fuck it up and do it like Frylock would do it? I was like, oh, Okay. <laughs> How did he fuck it up? Because Christmas it's... album. <laughs> so, whatever you hear on that Christmas album with Frylock singing, Oh, Holy Night, that's how I did it. It sounds great. So, I don't know what he's talking about when he says, Can you sound like you fucked it up? Well, Apparently it was, well, it wasn't necessarily on key. I'm pretty sure I fucked it up to some degree. Well, Frylock technically, the... isn't exactly an operatic <laughs> singer performer, you know. Try. Well, te technically, the song is called "Oh, Oh, Holy Tonight." Oh, okay. <laughs> you know that yeah. album well, then. Apparently, I have your, uh, I have it on my you shelf right Christmas there. Album, do you? Yep, it's signed Play it by for your here. friends. It's tis the season to play the Aqua Teen Christmas album, sir. And then when your birthday comes, you can say, oh, ye of years. And then you say your birthday, what year you was born or hatched or whatever it was. Remember that episode? It was just 55 bells. <laughs> the chime. <laughs> I remember that episode very Getty. well. Getty Lee. Lead and Ryan. you had Zach you had, Wild or Zach Mild as Shake <laughs> <called them. laughs> The funny thing is, I I really didn't know who these people were. You know, we were reading for the, we were doing the episode. I was like, who is that? They were like, you, seriously, you don't know? I was like, no. 
It's a must be a white boy thing. I'm thinking <laughs> in my head. <laughs> Bands like Rush and whatever. I'm like, I don't know them folks, man. Come on. So you never want to talk about some. We're gonna talk about some digital underground or Parliament Funkadelic or some Ice Cube, Ice T, Run DMC, something like that. KRS One, we could talk about that. Sure thing. I talk about that all day, but I, I do know, know Getty Lee and Zach Wild. Uh, I do know that in the first movie, you guys were gonna have this big segment with the cameos. The people who did Word Up. Oh yeah, that's in the deleted scenes. Yep. I still yet to see that. Uh, I don't know why they I don't know why they cut uh Larry Blackman and cameo out of the first movie. Don't know, but I thought it was funny that he still had the cod piece on. It must have been the cod piece that got him cut out, probably. <laughs> but you know, they wanted to they wanted to uh give the first movie a rated A rating. <laughs> no, yeah, they wanted to give the first or was it a or was it a video game? No, they wanted to give the video game rated A. Oh yeah. That's Zombie, all Ninja, <laughs> Zombie Ninja Pro Am. They want they wanted to, it was gonna be the first video game in history that garnered a rated A rating. And I was like, what's going on in this video game? Is there a hot coffee segment with Carl and <laughs> Dusty Gazangas or something? You know? Yeah, tonight. Is there a segment, a hidden level or something like that where Carl is banging some chick? I don't know. There's a deep dive I need to look into. <laughs> oh, yeah. I don't think there was, but anyway, it ended up not getting that rating. But that would be uh, crazy if it did. I, I signed my copy and gave it away to some kid. I couldn't even, I couldn't even beat the. I did. Carl on the golf course. He was the first boss you fight. <laughs> I couldn't even beat him, man. I'm, I'm in the damn game. I couldn't do it. I was like, Shh, I don't want this shit. I give it away to some kid. <laughs> and <laughs> hey, was so awesome. that's what I did. You uh -huh. also play. You also play video games too, right? You're, you're a gamer. A little bit. A little bit. Nothing major. I used to be online all the time playing those games, man. But when you, when you when you rage quit after a 12-year-old whoops your ass in Soul Calibur, you kind of go, screw this. I'm, I'm done with I'm the embarrassment. Dope. Kids just spam the hell out of me and beat my ass in Soul Calibur 6. I'm done oh, playing on online. But see, now they want you to pay to play online. So I'm like, screw that. When it was free, it was cool. You know, everybody can get on there and do what they do their thing. You know, what's some get? What's some? What? Uh, what are some of the games that you do still play? Oh, uh, nothing new. I, like they wanted me to buy God of War Ragnarok, and I'm like, I saw the oh. price of that bad boy. I'm like, I wait till it's the greatest hits, then I get it for twenty <laughs> bucks. Yeah, that's a good download one. that sucker when it gets on PlayStation Plus for free because I'm a PlayStation play Plus member. Watch it on YouTube. <laughs> right, right, right. I play Neo. I don't oh, know nice. if you know that one. N I O H. I like. Yeah, that's I like a good game. That I like you samurai Neo games. Yeah, oh, have you played Neo Tsushima? Yeah. Yeah, I play that. I got that one too. Uh, Final Fantasy VII the remake. I was yeah. playing oh, that. Yeah. That, that, yeah, that uh, yeah, you know, I, I play a few. You know, I'm 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 looking for a PS5 if they ever get them on the shelves. So. <laughs> I was just yeah. about to ask. I'll what, probably what have to wait till the prefer? till the used one comes out or something. I don't know. Like yes, for a PlayStation, PlayStation overall, PlayStation loyalist man. I'm all about ah. the PlayStation. I, ah, okay, okay. I could never sorry. figure oh, out yeah, Xbox yeah, yeah. controller. No, 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 I'm sorry. No, I'm sorry, Gary, bye. Oh, he gone. I went from I feel, Nintendo to Xbox I feel like I'm on South Park now. <laughs> man, you know PlayStation is just the shiz night, man. You know what it is. Uh, I'm an Xbox shiz loyalist. Night. It's okay. I'm not mad at you. It's all good. To each their own. You know? I'm actually surprised that uh, Thundercles never ended up in a video game because he looks like a video game character. Oh, man. I wish they'd have made a... A manga out of him, a big old robot. Oh, of he, could yeah. say, he could say 50 different phrases. Do your homework or I blast you. Something like that, you know. <laughs> it took me a while to realize that was your voice because it was, it sounded like it was going through like a modulator of some sort. It was. It modulated a little bit, a little bit to make him sound more robotic, you know. 
Whether than that, it's called me. It definitely worked. (laughs) I yeah, that was very therapeutic doing Thunderclays because he got to yell a lot. You know, he's he's always yelling that he's gonna blast something or somebody. That was cool. I used to like doing him. Yeah, back look at one of those checks was like ooh five fifty. I just made five hundred fifty dollar. For just yelling into the mic. For yelling into the mic. Yeah, that was a whole lot of money back then. You know. Before or after taxes? Before. I'm responsible for my own taxes. That's the thing, kids. You gotta file. If you if you don't pay, that's one thing. But if you don't file, that's when they come after you. That's how they get you. When you don't file, when you think you're too big for your britches, as my mother used to say. Get too big for your britches, son. <laughs> got to file them taxes. That's what got Wesley Snipes in trouble. Said Blade oh, ain't yeah. got to file no taxes. Fuck them taxes. Said, yeah, okay. Uh, yeah, definitely. Yeah, you keep on. All right, keep one, of the on few things I, one of the things I agree with them on. You got, you, it ain't a matter of paying them. It's a matter of filing. You got to yeah. let them know you filed. Got to know the difference between assets and liabilities. Very important. Absolutely, absolutely. Somebody's in the crib, my spirit. In the crib, my spirit. He got a crib, my hat on up and down. Ho, ho, ho. I got the tree behind me. Word. You do. It's not even Thanksgiving yet. You got the tree up. Yeah, it's his thing. Does it, does it light up? Got the it lights does. on? I don't, have the, I don't have it plugged in yet. Okay, okay. I'll give you a pass. <laughs> Better have it hooked up in the next 30 days, mister. It's going oh, to it'll be, be it'll be it's going to be some jingle by, bells uh, pay. I tell you what's truth. All right, <laughs> hit me. Okay, so last right, time Evan? since you've been on since last time you can't you joined us on this on our stream. Um, you actually uh, did a couple more uh, stuff for you did a couple more voice acting gigs. I saw here on the IMDb. I from, did. Yeah, from Covert Ops, A Man, The Document on the Run, Fourteen Ghosts. You did a couple of stuff stuff there in between. I don't know what the hell you talking about. <laughs> <laughs> no, this, you know this stuff just either people put it on there or it automatically goes on there because I'm in SAG. I guess when I'm in SAG, oh, you made it to SAG. SAG. Yeah, I'm in SAG. Congratulations, nah. congratulations, man! I know oh. you were trying to get in there. Uh, congrats! Oh, yeah. Thanks to the fans, man. People who contribute you, to help me get in there. You deserve it. You definitely oh, deserve it. It wasn't cheap. It wasn't cheap. Believe oh, you me. I guess still got to pay dues to stay in. But they base that on your income. So if you make X amount of dollars the last couple of months, you only pay X amount of dollars for your dues, which is fine with me. Definitely, man. But, you know, it was a long uphill battle. But I finally made it in, brothers. Yes, sir. Awesome. Awesome sauce. Never undermine the fry. Never underestimate the power of the fry grease. (laughs) It's everywhere. It's in your underwear. Maybe. Yeah, I loved your. Uh, well, I love your, your underwear sign is off. Greasy, Peace, love, and extra and fry grease. Peace, love, and fry <laughs> grease, baby. That's that's the dearly. That's oh, what's that up. reminds me of. That reminds me of the line from the movie Pest. <laughs> the movie what? Pest. It was a. It was a Pest. movie by John Leguizamo. I thought you said something else. <laughs> so did I. <laughs> the movie Pissed <laughs> reminds me of the tagline from a movie called Pissed. They just spent the whole two and a half hours pissing. On everything and everybody. <laughs> it was great tour de force. Piece of art. Certainly to be sure. He just whipped but, it out yeah. and pissed on everything he did. It was art. There's a similar line where it says, uh, love, peace, and chicken grease. Who said that? Uh, uh, In that movie, uh, Pest? John Lugu- yeah, John Lugu- oh. Lugu- Well, I'm glad I didn't see Pest then because he stole my <laughs> line. When, when did that movie come out? I got to get some copyrights going. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> 2000. Uh, it was in yeah. the 2000s. Okay, he might have beat me to that. Then. Come on, you don't know that. Come on. I don't know. I don't. Well, you know, change something. Have you had a chance? It belongs to you. Have you had a chance to do uh do like an audio book because you do have a really good voice. I have had a chance to do an audio book. My wife, who, my who is my engineer, is not have the patience to sit there and listen to her husband prattle on about the makings of King Teotihuacan and 
King Tut and things of that nature and listen to me describe all the ancient pyramids of Giza. She doesn't want to hear all that. So she says, no, can't do it. She doesn't think it pays well. So uh, I don't do them, you know? That's a shame. It would have to pay an exorbitant amount of money, and I guess I would need a different engineer because my wife would want to sit here and listen to me prattle on for an hour or two hours a day reading thousands of pages for little or no money. And that's what the yeah. missus said. So happy wife, happy life. Yeah. You know, yeah. Are you you'll find out you single that? guys once you become betrothed. You got to keep her happy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You're out of here again. You're gonna leave me on Xbox and then leave me when I'm giving a marital advice. <laughs> I don't have any I... marital advice to give you. I just, just find one that's as effed up as you are and be happy. I agree. No, no, like you, no, you said, no, you said the you said the first one overall. Happy wife, happy life. <laughs> that's that's what that's what made you want to get up. I go by you. happy spouse, happy oh, house. No. Oh, oh no, no, I no, I I left because of uh, the single comment. So bye bye. Oh, <laughs> yes, okay. oh no, no. Once oh no, chicks... because we constantly we have Evan right here that goes like, oh yeah. So I was hanging out with my girlfriend, guys. So me and my girlfriend's like, yeah. So you want to tell us you have a girlfriend? Evan? Guilty as charged. Like, I, yeah, I don't proud. see it as often, Girl. so I'm, I'm no, innocent. Yeah, no, 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 Jabalski, yeah, you're okay. It's Evan, like, because like, you agree with me. Evan's just rubbing it in everybody's face that he has it. Yeah, like, like, not that he's oh. happy that he's in a relationship. He's happy that he has one. <laughs> and you don't, so it's like, ah, no, screw I don't. you. And, and I, I've been in it longer, so. Yeah, yeah maybe she's got a friend. Years, man. Does she have a friend? <laughs> maybe, uh, maybe Evan could hook you up. Double date time going on there. Ever hook him up, man? I know she got some friends. I'll keep that in mind there. There. Uh, the there. last, the last time I was trying, I was trying to be set up for a blind date. The person, the person tried to set me up with a girl that that's from India, Ooh. because I'm Native American. Oh. 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 Yeah, yeah. You see the stupidity here. So they figured you're Indian, she's Indian. It would be perfect. No, no, right. they thought I was the same as that Indian. The same kind of Indian. That's what. They, yeah, but I'm Native I'm American. Yeah. Uh, all Indians. As, soon, as soon as you said, it's like when when you when as soon as you said that uh, she's Indian, and I, I was like, oh, oh. <laughs> yeah, because I was really just like, wait, well, wait, why? Why do you think I would be a good match for this? And like that was literally what he said. He goes like, oh, because she's from India. I was like. What does that have to do with me? I, like, so you, I, like, you're Native American. What's your nation? What's your tribe? What are... Oh, uh, Seminole. Seminole. Okay. Mm -hmm. I got you some Cherokee and me. got go. some Cherokee and me. My aunt let me know it when I was growing up. She slapped the shit out of me when I was watching the cowboy and Indian movie. I was rooting for the cowboys. I said, Don't you ever <laughs> root for those cowboys, son? You got Cherokee we're, in we're you. I was like, bench. okay. <laughs> okay, I I know it now. Since you smacked the taste out of my mouth and told me, as long as you don't tell me it's one eighth, I'll be I'm okay with that. I mm. I have this thing where when if I tell people I'm Native American, they immediately will be like, "Oh, hey, I'm one eighth this one," and I'm right here going like, "Go find seven more and make a hole." Ooh, <laughs> <no way. laughs> Go find seven more and make like... a hole, all Native, please, before I can talk to you because. I don't oh, know what that has to do with me. That's me. deep. Uh, that's funny. <laughs> okay. You have, like, you have okay, no okay, idea okay. how many times that's a thing. That's why. Cause, I get you. I get you. Because, uh, like, like, nobody does that to, like, for African Americans specifically. No one goes, like, I'm 2% two percent, two, two eighths African. It's like. This kind of. It's kind of how like how, how I think about when people do that. It's like, okay, take a dollar bill, get a penny, cut that penny in half. That's just about the same kind. That's just about the same amount of logic. <laughs> it's so insignificant. It does not matter to the whole dollar. Like, because I do true. respect people who do honor like the cultures and everything like that. Like from people who like. Who go oh, yeah. full oh, yeah. in depth, right. like like I've met people like that where they understand cool. what their heritage is, and yeah, that's full respect 
and that's awesome. Yeah. Because I hate it when I go to a convention. <laughs> oh, and I see Chad and Sarah over there wearing headdresses, and it's just like, I need to go talk to them real quick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I, okay, and yeah, and I, I know it's going to annoy Kuma, but at the same time, too, it's like I don't. It's like I I don't go take it seriously at all because I know it's just like I said, it's half a penny to the whole dollar. Right. But like my my, my it's like people in my family, a few people in my family took a DNA test, and it's like like again half a penny of Cherokee. I'm sort of like, and you act like that. It's like that's cool and all. But to the whole picture, I'm st- I'm still a fucking saltine cracker. <laughs> anyway. Lightly salted, lightly salted. Anyway, we're coming to the end of the stream here. I thought we'd just do one yes. more round. Coming to the end, one more round. Ding 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 ding. Um, this is good stuff. This is good stuff. You guys are dropping pearls of wisdom. I love it. So I'm glad you are. Um, my question <laughs> is: um, Have you ever thought about getting into stand-up comedy? Have you ever thought about getting stand-up comedy? Yes, I've thought about. Or it. at least like sitting down comedy. <laughs> uh, 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 Dudes, I I thought about it. I would I would love to give it a stab. You know, maybe mm-hmm. I go to an open mic somewhere and test the waters and find out how it goes and let you know. We'll I'm see what really happens. You know? I'm that too. That'd be fun. You know, it'd be fun. I thought about it before. I really had. Ty Mock asked me the same question. You know, Ty Mock from Barry Gordy's The Last Dragon. Oh, really? The actor who was in that movie. No kidding. Uh, I saw him recently in New York Comic Con. Anyway, he asked me the same thing, and I was like, yeah, I thought about it. You know, he says, you ever done it? I was like, no. You're a pussy. <laughs> so Ty Mock <laughs> called me a pussy. What are you doing, Ty Mock tells you you're a pussy? He said, okay. Yeah, you know, you want to <laughs> fight him. <laughs> Really, just like he, just he, as soon as you said that, he just was like, "You're a pussy." Like, yeah, he did. He called me a pussy because I never done stand up. And I'm like, "Look, man, the situation has never actually presented itself. But if this is a dare, sir, then I would accept. Show me the stage, and I'll show you some stuff. Definitely, man. You got the skills. Say all that. I wouldn't say right, uh, Ty Mock. You know, he's a martial artist." And, me, I'm not so much. You know, didn't want to get into a scrap with him. I don't think so. I, I could kind of, com- I, I could think of a comedian to, I would kind of think you would be like. I think be like. Uh, you ever heard of? Well, well, similar style maybe. Uh, uh his name is uh, Alonzo Bolden, or uh, I, I think that's his name. Uh, uh, uh he, he's a cool. I comedian, think though. I heard of him. I think I heard of him, Alonzo Bolden. He must yeah, not be too funny, funny though. No, <laughs> is he funny? Uh, no, he sucks. <laughs> All right, uh, Kuma, why don't you go ahead and ask your final question? Kuma, Kuma. Uh, come on. Name your name your top five movies for oh, this year. For this year. This, this year? year? Oh. I haven't seen enough movies, Kuma, this year to name five. <laughs> I'm serious. Plantasm, 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 Plantasm. There you plantasm. go. I'm, I'm like <laughs> like Dave Chappelle, right? Dylan, 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 and Dylan. My top five rappers. Frylock, 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 and Frylock. Yay. That's okay, about uh, it. How, how about what, what was the last movie you seen then? Uh, today, Halloween ends. I wouldn't oh, say that was one of my of favorites. Movie. It was all right. I mean, you know, it was watchable. I didn't fall asleep on it. You know, <laughs> that's why the Aqua Team movie was so short. Make sure you couldn't fall asleep on it. You know, so seventy minutes of pure pleasure. Well, you know, it, it was... make... I, I'm not gonna lie. I literally, I literally watched the whole movie through just because I was like, I want to know what other parts do the Moon Knights ruin. Because I know they, they, they didn't ruin like they... anything. They didn't ruin anything. <laughs> You're gonna make this man not want to watch the movie now. He said the Moon Knights ruined it. I don't want to see that shit. 
The Moon Knights ruined. They didn't ruin it. They just. Oh, I still watched it. They just did their Moon Knight thing. That's all. They bum you rushed the show. Like, they bum rushed the like, show with okay, the immortal yep, words yep. of the great Chuck D. That's what they did. They bum yep. rushed the show. Because I was rather just was, going like, was, yep, I knew it. They're showing up here. It was, like, it was good comic relief. Again. It was it was good comic relief, you know. No, no, I liked it. I was just really going just like, buddy in and talk talk their like moon, that. talk their moon and night shit like they did, you know. That's how they do. The moon and rules. Little, right, and their little one. text thing is pretty funny too. The moon rules number one in my car with a key. <laughs> Who wrote that? Yeah, I could believe in the sun. I don't know, but. But who did that? Sh- who did that stunt in Boston? Oh man! And then when they had the press conference, did you see the press conference? Oh, I still have yet to see I'll it. Only... And they would only answer questions about hair care products <laughs> in the press conference. <laughs> uh, Jablowski, why don't you go next? Jablowski. Uh, any? No, sorry. Go ahead. Uh, any future projects you're working on, or? I am in the market for a new gig that pays thousands of hundreds of thousands of dollars. If you know anybody out there that's hiring. It just so happens we don't. Just so (laughs) happen to be looking for work. No, I'm I'm auditioning, man. Every time, every chance I get them. Every day I'm hustling. Every day I'm hustling, hustling, hustling. Trying to get the next gig, man. So, no. At the moment, nothing in the works. Trying to get into some work. That's what I'm trying to do, sir. Trying to get some of that Dwayne the Rock Johnson money. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> did y'all see Black Adam? Did y'all see Black Adam? No, they I'm probably did. See it. Y'all haven't seen Black Adam? You asked me about five movies this year. You haven't even seen that? What the hell? Oh, I, 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 what? I think y'all back from watching Black Panther. You saw that? Yeah. Okay, I could... I probably won't be able to get through that without crying. Oh yeah, I know they do a tribute to Chad with Bozeman and that, and that that hit me hard. That was crazy. Yes, too. There, turn around and lose Batman after that. Kevin Conroy, now he's gone. It's like what the whoa, man. Yeah, Jason. Did you hear about today? Yeah, you heard about today. Yeah, him today. That was crazy. Green Ranger. Well, uh, have you had a chance heroes to heroes and Power Rangers falling like flies? Have a chance to what? Have you had a chance to do theater uh, again recently? No, 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 no. My theater days are probably behind me, sir. Unless I get offered a shitload amount of money to get back on stage, it's time-consuming and it doesn't pay very well. That's the thing about theater, you know. It takes up a lot of time. And, uh, I mean, it is instant gratification. I tell people. That that's what they should look into if they ask me how to start a voiceover career. That is my number one source of uh, information there. I say start doing theater. Start with doing some theater. Do a local community show or take some improv classes or something mm-hmm. to that nature. And that'll get you in the right dire- going in the right direction for voiceovers. It will. Mm-hmm. It helped me, I think. So I think you can't go wrong with a little theater under your belt. Absolutely. None whatsoever. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, Carrie, yeah, thank you so right. much for joining us again on yes. Ant. It was really great seeing you and the you Aqua teams all great. together. Yep. You guys <laughs> are great. Yep. That one guy who hasn't seen the movie, see the movie. Yeah, I'll try to yes. do. Sure you text when the moon and I tell you to text. Check, check yeah. it. <laughs> Number right, one in the got... hood, G. Aqua Team Forever. Aqua Team Forever, yo. Yep. <laughs> All right, good night, everyone. Good I night. got it. Good night. Good night. Peace. Night. <laughs> good morning. It's the end of the show, so don't blow it. It's the end of the show, so don't blow it. It's the end of the show, so don't blow it and it right. My life is a bacon-wrapped hell on earth. <laughs>